Now to uh, configure uh, the settings on your radio for a six flight mode setting using logical switches, you could also use, uh, as I've mentioned, open uh, TX companion. In order to do that, you need to boot to boot your uh, or to power on your uh, Tranis in a certain way. So, and you could see this. Uh, this is available online. So what you do is this left uh, trim, click to the right and then the right trim is to click and hold to the left. While you're holding that, you power on your trans. You release and this is what you're gonna see on the screen. At this point, uh, you could get your uh, USB uh, This is already plugged into uh, my PC and then plug it at The USB port at the back over there so, let's just Plug it And you will see their USB connected you've connected your radio uh, to your PC via USB cable uh, you can uh, you have to launch OpenTX Companion or download it, install it first and then launch it and uh, click here this will read the models that you have uh, saved uh, I'm not sure but I think you need to back up the models that you have on your Tranus uh, in order for it to be saved on the SD card and for Open Companion, uh, Open Text Companion, uh, to read it. So make sure when you create a new model on your Tranus, uh, back it up. Uh, you can go online and or Google how you can do that. It's very straightforward. So this is the one that I'm in using the six uh, flight modes uh, using two switches on the Tranus. So let's open that up and. Uh, Basically, there's two tabs here that I just focused the mixes and the logical switches So I think what I did was to set up the logical switches first if you notice there. It's the same uh, config as what I showed you earlier in the video wherein uh, uh, How it looked like on, on the Tranus radio itself so two switches again SF the two position switch this could be three depending on you know how many how many flight modes you would need but for me six uh, is more than enough since I'm uh, using this on a mini talent so SF two position switch three position switch if you notice there so it gives basically gives me access to six uh, six flight modes again this is the duration the delay sorry the delay that I uh, mentioned a while ago as well and the beauty of this software is that you could actually uh, simulate remember my SF switch if I put it down see it goes to L1 and then L4 now if that is on that position and I move my SC switch to the middle it goes to L2 L3 these are the logical switches that were set up so this is the is this this is one of the advantages of this software is that you could you know check it first and make sure it works before you actually you know write it to your uh, to your radio's memory so again that's the logical switches and then the mixes this is the only thing that I changed this is all set uh, initially because this will you know make sure your aileron elevator uh, throttle I set this at 30% because uh, you know I, I want when I move the trial uh, a bit I want the you know the motor to respond it, it goes to the second line before it responds so I had to put an offset of 30% but anyways again channel 6 this is not a default for pick sock and APM I think channel 5 I'm using this for my pan uh, uh, servo so here 
uh, basically what I did was to set this up following the guide from uh, from flight test and then just copied it, them over and changed the setting as suggested by uh, uh, by suggested by that person who posted the you know that guide so I get again I get I have uh, six flight modes here uh, logical switch one two three four five and six and that's it after you've set that up uh, you're good to go and this will show up on your radio but make sure you save it so once that is done close this and close that and you can click this right back to radio